My name is Chris Kamenacci. I'm the VP of Engineering over at TechPulse Professional Services and also the ninth degree Halo PSA wizard known as Siege the MSP Automator of MSPAutomator.com. Today we're going to be talking about triaging. How do you triage tickets in Halo currently? Are you all just letting everything come in as an incident or are you just letting things land and people are going and picking out of a queue? Maybe that's not ideal for you. Maybe you're going through C-Level or Pax 8 Academy, you know, uh, business coaching and you need to comply with some best practices in the industry. Well, you're in luck because today I'm going to talk to you about how I triage tickets in Halo and how I build instances for other MSP partners while following the C-level best practices that we learned. So the first thing is that this is comprised of several systems. So there's the obvious assign actions, which they can be, you know, quick actions if you really want them to just land at, you know, maybe a load balance at a certain line and it's very simple for you, but typically you're going to make them regular actions. You're going to use the reassign field to do that. Um, and maybe you're going to have some assign different teams, different ticket types, a ticket type, a ticket type of triage. And in that triage ticket type, we set some things like summary details, impact, urgency, and category. We really don't need a lot of information uh, on a triage ticket type. What we're doing is basically capturing all incoming emails as a triage ticket type and any kind of new ticket from the portal or anything like that. The idea is to let everything land as a triage ticket and then from that triage ticket, we decide what we're gonna do with it. And finally, the last piece that makes this truly C-level compliant is our triage SLA. So we develop a special SLA just for triage ticket types so that we can comply with our 12 minutes to triage and route a ticket goal that we set from Pax8 Academy or our C-level ops training. Um, so what we do is we just create an SLA. We call that our triage SLA. Our description is triage pending so that we know what it's doing. And we set our response target to 0.2 hours, 12 minutes. Then on our ticket type of triage, we can set our default SLA to be priority number one of the triage SLA. This will give us a 12 minute counter inside of the agent's business hours. Triage workflow is very simple. The first option is to be just a triage option, which allows you to set your impact, your urgency, and your category if you want. But basically it's about impact and urgency. From there, we get the options to route that ticket to anywhere we want to go, whether that be to support where you basically are doing a reassign action or you go to maybe billing or security or maybe to quotes where you're actually doing like change ticket type to sales. That's it. This is a very simple workflow. The idea is just to give you a way to get the ticket into the system, get it flipped over to the type of ticket it needs to be and get it to where it needs to go in as few steps as possible. Now this is simulating what a new ticket coming into the system would look like coming in via email, right? We've got our C-level compliant 12 minutes here. So we've got 12 minutes to action our ticket. Um, we've got a triage pending status here and this is what our response target looks like. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and triage my ticket. My impact I'm gonna say is single and maybe it's a low urgency and I don't know, it's a business application. Now that I've triaged my ticket, I've got some options up here. I can either assign it to support, assign it to billing, assign it to quotes, or assign it to security. So I'm gonna say this needs to go to support. I'm not gonna log a response. And I'm gonna say oh, maybe it needs to go to first line support. We're gonna load balance it. The ticket is now jumped to an incident. It is changed to the incident management workflow and it can continue to be worked as a normal ticket. Please let us know what you thought in the comments. If you've got any ideas for future videos or any requests, please let us know. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.